embark on the food and fashion theme, Cyril Nyka is a designer who's passionate about promoting local fashion and fresh local produce. Krishma met up with him for a taste of South Africa's homegrown delights in more ways than one. Cyril Nyka is equally at home in the worlds of style, commerce, cuisine and entertainment. He's also a seasoned events coordinator and he was busy applying his skills when Karishma caught up with him. Fashion and food are two of my favourite things and designer, stylist and foodie Cyril Nyka has an exciting day planned filled with both and he's generously invited me to tag along. Cyril had been requested to present a themed luncheon event for his client who was happy to leave all the preparations in his capable hands. Everything seemed well under control when the doorbell rang. Hello, how Hi, are you? I'm good and you? Good. Good to see you. You too. Wow, what a beautiful space. Thank you so much for having me over. Well, firstly, welcome. And um, it's actually my client's home and she's having a bespoke lunch for her friends. And I'm here basically to prepare the meals and to do the entire bespoke event. Where does your love for food and fashion come from? Growing up as a kid, watching my mom in the kitchen, that's definitely where my love for food started. And in terms of fashion, it also goes back to my mom watching her as a kid drape her sari. So she's quite central to my passion in food and fashion. Speaking about my love for food, I'm actually making a breakfast smoothie and I'd love you to join me. Fantastic. So Karishma, today's event is, there's a colour theme, which is yellow. So I decided that even for our breakfast smoothie, we're going to go with the yellow theme. So that's why I've chosen pineapple, I've chosen mango. Yum. Uh, you didn't say yum on the pineapple. <laughs> and I've chosen banana, some mango juice and some Greek yogurt. And this is really an energising breakfast smoothie. Have you always loved being in the kitchen? I have actually. It's the one place I find um, total relaxation and it's also the one place that I find that my creativity comes to the front. Cyril, so, your love for fashion runs a lot deeper than just a love for beautiful fabrics and designer trends. Yeah, you know Karishma, unfortunately there is an ugly side to fashion and it's really about um, the ethical side. So I would like to actually take you into town and prove that um, buying local is not such a big challenge. Okay. And it's actually quite easy. That looks delicious. And it looks quite yellow as well. It does. So here you go, Krishna. Thank you a very much. Smoothie. Thank you. And mm. to life. To life. Cheers. Yes. Cyril, you are a man of many talents because not only is this smoothie delicious, but you are also the creative director of a new reality TV show. It's actually a reality show looking for Africa's next fashion talent. So what I hope to achieve with Fashion Undressed is to basically get people to switch the lid on and thinking in terms of supporting local. Well, I feel aptly energised, so should we hit the shops? Let's do it. With experience as a buyer in retail fashion, Cyril developed an insider's view of the garment industry. As a result, he's an ardent supporter of Fashion Revolution, an organization dedicated to promoting an ethical approach in this field. How did you get involved with Fashion Revolution? What is it about and how can one get involved with the campaign? It pretty much started after the Rana Plaza disaster in Bangladesh, where 1,134 people were killed and over 2,500 people were injured. I pretty much got involved with Fashion Revolution from that point, but anyone can get involved. They have a very strong Facebook page. People can link up with that and also they have a very good website. Would you mind taking me through some key trends? Absolutely, let's go. So Karishma, I think um, pop of colour is always nice and you know, in terms of fabrication, this is something that's really trending at the moment. And it's the wetsuit fabric, so it's better known as scuba fabric. Okay. It's breathable, so it's been made to accommodate, I guess, all the sweat. <laughs> so I think this would really look quite nice. And it's a beautiful colour. The only thing that this is missing is an accessory. So let's grab something. What do you think about that? Wow, it actually looks amazing. I would have never thought to have picked something like this, but it works so well. Well, it's actually really a statement piece, and I think that's really what will pull this dress together. Should I go try it on? Please do. So would it look even better on Karishma than it did on the hangar? That question was answered when she emerged from the changing room. So, what that do you think? That looks beautiful. 
It looks stunning. I love it. I love the color and I love the fit. I think it actually fits you beautifully. It hugs you in all the right places. It does. And it makes your petite body look much more sensual. I feel amazing in this dress. It is so, it's so deceiving because I didn't think it would feel this amazing when I looked at it on the hanger. I would probably just lose the earrings. Okay. Look, and there we go. yeah, I think now that's perfect. We shopped up a storm, but now I think it's time to get back for lunch, so I'm going to go get dressed quickly. Clearly, ethics and style can coexist. But how does this relate to buying South African? Cyril, why is it so important to buy local? Karishma, you know, I think supporting local is it's hugely important because if you had to see how clothing was actually manufactured and under what conditions people are working, you'd be appalled, to be honest, because for lack of a better word, it's basically human slavery. And that's the problem. So when I started discovering this from my own research, my shift began to support local. And this is really why organizations like Fashion Revolution exist, because that brings a spotlight into the ethical conditions of how people are working. I love supporting local designers, and I've recently made the decision to buy at least 90% local. But that's not always easy when you walk past stores offering high-end fashion at affordable prices. I would say get informed, and the easiest way to do that is simply looking at the care label on your garment to see where it's manufactured and you will often find the source itself. It was time for Cyril to focus on work. So Karishma, ahead of our lunch, I actually need to pick up some flowers for the tables. Okay. So I brought you to the Adley Street flower sellers and I think this is the perfect place to pick up some fresh roses. Let's go have a look. Cyril was looking for something subtle to match the yellow theme. I think these are beautiful for the table for lunch. Wow, they are stunning. Cyril, you are proudly South African. What do you love about this country and how does it inspire you? I think it's really its people. I mean, this is a classic example. You know, it's an entrepreneurial spirit. And I think we're a good example of, you know, we come from a generation of slaves, mm -hmm. you know, and I think we've done pretty well ourselves. So Karishma, I think we've got to head back because our guests are actually going to be arriving soon. Fantastic. So let's, go. let's do it. Fashion isn't Cyril's only strong suit, and under his management, a guest house moved from a three to a five-star rating in the space of a year. He applies the same meticulous attention to detail in every aspect of an undertaking. Cyril, this looks so pretty. Take me through some of the elements and what influences your choices. Thanks, Karishma. Well, actually, it's the client that sort of lets me know what she's interested in. For this particular lunch, she wanted touches of yellow, but very subtle. So what we decided to do was we went with little bud vases with flowers, which has the yellow. And what we've done is we've created a space in the middle, which is often a problem. Where do we put the food? I smell something yummy coming from the kitchen. What's on the menu? To start, we have chicken that's made with turmeric, ginger, and garlic that's drenched in coconut milk. Then for main, we have salmon, and that salmon's been spiced up. So it's got a bit of fish masala, a little bit of chili masala. And then for dessert, I've taken an old traditional Indian favorite, which is soji. But this time there's a twist, because it's served cold, and it's served with a blob of ice cream. I cannot wait to dig in. <laughs> the host, Dimitra Filippou, was on hand to welcome her guests and introduce them to Karishma. An ever-attentive Cyril was on hand to ensure that the luncheon party proceeded smoothly and the guests savoured their meal. This gave Karishma an opportunity to get a client's point of view on working with this multi-talented maestro. Dimitra, you've worked with Cyril before. What do you love about working with him? He's so easy to work with and he just gets you. He just has to listen to you. He susses you out when he sees you and he just knows exactly what you're looking for without you really having to say too much. It's been an enlightening day filled with fabulous fashion and food and superb company. Thank you, Cyril and Demetra. You have made my belly and my heart very happy. Cheers to a successful event. Cheers. 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 Cheers.